Uh, so the warning for Dallas County has expired, but Ellis County is still under that warning. Dallas still seeing some light to moderate rain, though, and the temperature down to 78 currently. So uh, nothing kind of breaks a heat wave like some rain and storms, right? This was the complex of storms, really one storm that we were watching intensify in Cook County earlier, moved into Denton County, then tracked through Collin and Dallas County. Now we've got the severe the severe part in Ellis County. So this is where that warning remains for the next 11 minutes. 60 mile an hour winds, quarter size hail. Uh, Boyce, we're looking, I mean, it's already there at this point. Garrett, next couple of minutes. Ennis at about 425. Bardwell at 429. The warning only goes until 430, but they may continue this a little farther to the south. So if that happens, Rankin at 436, 440 for Rice, and then we would be looking at Corsicana getting in on this rain and maybe some stronger storm activity, possibly quarter size hail and 60 mile an hour winds by 454. These storms have been moving to the southeast. They really started to pick up speed in Dallas County and now through Ellis County, moving at almost 40 miles an hour at last check. We've got some storms moving into portions of Parker County, Wise County, uh, even Jack County as well. But we're more concerned with storm activity out to the west for later tonight. Of course, we had the heat alert, the weather alert for the heat. We have feels like temperatures. Anyone who hasn't been touched by the rain and storms, you're still feeling like the triple digits right now. But that rain has certainly cooled things off in Dallas County, Denton County, and Collin County. Fort Worth, though, it still feels like it's about 103. These alerts are set to expire at 8 o'clock tonight. We're not expecting the National Weather Service to extend these into Thursday or Friday. We may get more advisories as we make our way into the weekend and certainly next week. But for now, what we're watching for, of course, we've got the storms moving through Ellis County right now. And then we've got to keep an eye on more storm activity for tonight. You notice a level three enhanced risk for the counties highlighted in tan here. And then we've got this level two slight risk for most of Tarrant County, portions of Dallas County, a little bit of Denton County as well. Uh, we're watching for dry line storms developing out to the west. You've got this boundary right here, the dry line starting to move in. So you've got some storms developing there. And what we're watching for, that storm development moving in to the west. And uh, I think, you know, we start to watch around 9, 10, o'clock tonight. Some models suggesting it could be a little bit closer to midnight, but particularly to the west of 35, I think that's where the worst of it will be with damaging winds, potentially up to 75 mile an hour winds and some large hail as well. Then we get to tomorrow, uh, the high of 92, 93 as we make our way into Friday, 99 with those sunny skies by Saturday and then Sunday through Wednesday, forecast high ranging from 100 to 104.